What are the types of early humans? There were several types of early humans that inhabited the Earth before modern humans emerged. These early humans, also known as hominins, belonged to different species and had distinct physical and behavioral characteristics. Let's explore some of the most significant types. One, Australopithecus. Homo sapiens, or modern humans, are the most recent species of early humans and the only ones to have survived and thrived until today. They possess a highly developed brain, enabling advanced language, abstract thinking and complex social structures. This cognitive ability has allowed Homo sapiens to create and develop civilizations, leading to the vast cultural diversity we see in the world today. Unlike their earlier ancestors, Homo sapiens exhibited a variety of physical and behavioral traits that set them apart. They had a more upright posture, enabling efficient walking and running, and their hands were dexterous, allowing them to create and use tools more effectively. These advancements played a significant role in their ability to adapt and survive in various environments. The development of language was a crucial turning point for Homo sapiens. It enabled them to communicate complex ideas, coordinate group activities such as hunting, and pass on knowledge from one generation to the next. Language also fostered the formation of intricate social structures, allowing for cooperation, division of labor, and the establishment of cultural norms and traditions. As Homo sapiens spread across the globe, they encountered different environments and challenges, leading to the development of diverse cultures. They adapted to various climates, from the freezing Arctic to the scorching deserts and developed unique skills and technologies to thrive in these different settings. This cultural diversity is a testament to the adaptability and ingenuity of our species. The study of early human evolution is an ongoing field of research, constantly uncovering new findings and insights into our rich ancestral history. Archaeological discoveries, genetic studies and advancements in technology have provided valuable information about our early ancestors and their journey to becoming Homo sapiens. By studying early humans, we gain a deeper understanding of our own origins, the challenges our ancestors faced and the remarkable adaptations that allowed them to survive and thrive. It reminds us of our shared heritage and the interconnectedness of all human beings. 2. Homo habilis One of the most significant discoveries in understanding our early ancestors is Homo habilis. This species, which lived approximately 2.4 to 1.4 million years ago, represents a crucial transition in human evolution. Homo habilis is often referred to as the handyman due to their remarkable tool-making abilities. Archaeological excavations have unearthed stone tools associated with Homo habilis, indicating their advanced cognitive and manual dexterity. These early humans were able to fashion tools such as hand axes and scrapers, which were instrumental in various activities such as butchering meat and processing plants. These tools not only provided evidence of their resourcefulness, but also offered insights into their daily lives and survival strategies. Furthermore, genetic studies have revealed that Homo habilis played a significant role in our own genetic makeup. 
Through the analysis of ancient DNA, scientists have discovered genetic traces of Homo habilis in modern humans. This suggests that interbreeding between Homo habilis and other hominin species occurred, contributing to the genetic diversity that exists in humans today. Advancements in technology have also allowed scientists to reconstruct the physical appearance of Homo habilis. Through the use of 3D imaging and computer modeling, researchers have created virtual representations of these early humans. These reconstructions provide a glimpse into the physical characteristics and features of Homo habilis, helping us to better understand our own evolutionary lineage. Studying Homo habilis not only expands our knowledge of our early ancestors, but it also highlights the challenges they faced and the adaptations that allowed them to survive. Living during a time of environmental change and competition with other species, Homo habilis had to be adaptable and innovative. Their tool-making abilities and cognitive skills were crucial in enabling them to thrive in various habitats and secure resources for survival. By studying Homo habilis and other early humans, we gain a deeper appreciation for our own origins and the remarkable journey that led to the development of Homo sapiens. It reminds us of the interconnectedness of all human beings and our shared heritage. Through understanding our past, we can better comprehend the challenges and triumphs that shaped our species, ultimately leading to the diverse and complex societies we have today. 3. Homo erectus Homo erectus, another important ancestor in our evolutionary lineage, further adds to our understanding of our past. This species emerged around 1.8 million years ago and is considered one of the most successful early human species, having existed for nearly 1.5 million years. One of the defining characteristics of Homo erectus was their ability to walk upright on two legs, just like modern humans. This adaptation allowed them to cover long distances efficiently, expanding their range and exploring new territories. As they migrated out of Africa, Homo erectus spread across various parts of the world, including Asia and Europe, adapting to different environments and evolving unique traits along the way. Studying Homo erectus provides us with valuable insights into our own physical and cognitive development. They were the first early humans to have significantly larger brains than their predecessors, indicating a growth in intellectual capacity. This increase in brain size potentially contributed to their ability to develop more complex tools and engage in advanced hunting and gathering strategies. Furthermore, Homo erectus was the first early human species to have evidence of controlled fire use. This groundbreaking discovery revolutionized their way of life by providing warmth, protection and a means to cook food. The mastery of fire not only enhanced their survival, but also had significant implications for the social dynamics within their communities. The exploration and adaptation of Homo erectus demonstrate the remarkable resilience and adaptability of our early ancestors. Their ability to navigate diverse environments and successfully colonize different regions of the world is a testament to their ingenuity and resourcefulness. By studying Homo erectus, we gain a deeper appreciation for the challenges they faced and the triumphs they achieved. Their story reminds us of the tenacity and perseverance that has characterized our species throughout history. It highlights our shared heritage and the interconnectedness of all human beings, regardless of our diverse backgrounds and cultures. 
Understanding Homo erectus and other early human species allows us to trace our evolutionary journey and recognize the complex factors that shaped our species over millions of years. It helps us appreciate the immense progress and development that has led to the diverse and complex societies we have today. Through this understanding, we can better comprehend our place in the world and the collective story of humanity. It encourages us to recognize the importance of preserving our shared heritage and working towards a future that respects and celebrates our common origins. 4. Neanderthals on the other hand, were a distinct species of early humans that coexisted with Homo sapiens for a significant period of time. They lived in Europe and parts of Asia, and their existence can be traced back to approximately 400,000 years ago. Neanderthals were well adapted to their environment, with a stocky build and robust muscles that allowed them to survive in harsh conditions. They had a larger brain size than Homo erectus, but slightly smaller than Homo sapiens. While they may not have possessed the same level of cognitive abilities as Homo sapiens, recent studies have suggested that they were not as intellectually inferior as previously believed. One of the most fascinating aspects of Neanderthals is their cultural and social behavior. They had complex social structures and lived in small groups, often consisting of extended families. They had a rudimentary form of language communicated through a combination of vocalizations and gestures. Evidence of their artistic expression has also been discovered, such as cave paintings and the use of symbolic objects. Neanderthals were skilled hunters and gatherers, relying on their strength and intelligence to survive. They used tools made of stone, bone and wood, and were adept at crafting weapons for hunting. They also had a diverse diet, consuming a variety of plant and animal resources. Interaction between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens is a subject of great interest to researchers. It is believed that there was some level of interbreeding between the two species, as evidenced by the presence of Neanderthal DNA in the genomes of modern humans of non-African descent. This suggests that Neanderthals and Homo sapiens shared a common ancestor and had some degree of genetic compatibility. However, the exact nature of the relationship between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens remains a topic of debate. Some theories propose that they coexisted peacefully and even interbred, while others suggest that they competed for resources and territory. Regardless, it is clear that Neanderthals played a significant role in our evolutionary history. Studying Neanderthals and other early humans helps us better understand our own origins and the factors that shaped us as a species. It is a reminder of the incredible diversity that once existed among our ancestors and the remarkable journey that has led us to where we are today. As research continues to uncover new findings, our understanding of early human evolution will undoubtedly continue to evolve, contributing to the ever-growing narrative of our rich ancestral history. 5. Homo sapiens One important branch of early humans that has captured the fascination of researchers is Homo sapiens or anatomically modern humans. 
Our species emerged in Africa around 300,000 years ago and eventually spread across the globe, replacing other hominin species such as Neanderthals and Denisovans. Studying Neanderthals and other early humans provides valuable insights into our own origins and the factors that shaped us as a species. By comparing our DNA with that of other hominins, scientists have discovered that modern humans share a small percentage of genetic material with Neanderthals and Denisovans. This suggests that interbreeding between these different hominin groups occurred at some point in the past. These genetic studies have shed light on the migration patterns of early humans and the complex interactions that took place between different hominin species. They have also revealed that the genetic diversity among modern humans is much lower than that of our ancestors, indicating a population bottleneck or a period of rapid population growth. In addition to genetic research, archaeologists have unearthed numerous artifacts and fossils that provide further insights into the lives of our early human ancestors. These discoveries have revealed evidence of sophisticated tool-making, artistic expression and even symbolic behavior, all of which speak to the cognitive abilities and cultural practices of these ancient humans. Studying Homo sapiens and other early humans not only helps us understand our own origins, but also highlights the incredible diversity that once existed among our ancestors it is a reminder that our modern human population is just one branch of a much larger family tree and that our journey as a species has been shaped by countless factors over millions of years. As research continues to uncover new findings, our understanding of early human evolution will undoubtedly continue to evolve, contributing to the ever-growing narrative of our rich ancestral history. By piecing together the puzzle of our past, we gain a deeper appreciation for the remarkable journey that has led us to where we are today.